hi and welcome to my channel today I am going to try a new thing <laughs> so I got this comment uh, from thoughtless gesture uh, and uh, just to be clear I think I've heard that name before in flat earth um, situations but I cannot remember <laughs> which side he is on and I must assume in gender here I'm sorry so it basically says Here's a link to my video and please go tell me what I did wrong. So let's do that. So here's the video. Uh, it's by Thoughtless Yester. So let's start by looking at the title. It says observations that crush your reality. Now, is it my reality or Flat Earther's reality that is going to be crushed by this video? I can't say. It says dash flat earth, but does that mean that um, it's going to crush your reality if you believe in flat earth? Or does it mean that it's going to crush your reality and then you're going to realize that we live on a flat earth? It's inconclusive at this point. I don't know. So, here we have a uh, long and thorough description of what we are about to watch. It says TJ, I assume, thoughtless yester, like who else would it be, observes, why is it written in third person though? That that confuses me. Okay, it, TJ observes a 93 foot, like how high is that? I don't know. Salish Eagle, 20 miles away from 75 and 10 feet. Yeah, th these numbers don't tell me much because I live in Sweden and I'm using the metric system. So, but let's, maybe it's explained in the video. Let's go right into it. Okay. It's blurry. And here's 93 feet Salish Eagle. We already knew that. 20 miles away. We already knew that. Uh, 70 feet height, uh, 58 feet hidden. Okay, here's the first mistake. The, the title is confusing. Like, you, you don't really know what to expect. It says that this will crush your reality. And for me, I don't know how everyone else works, but for me, it, it's like when someone says, I will crush your reality, I instantly take a very skeptical stance because uh, if if my reality was crushed like daily it, I would be so confused <laughs> so, so I can't I can't deal with that so I'm like okay I'm open to stuff but if you're going to turn my world view over you, you better have good reasoning you better have good proof yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. That, that, that's enough. But, so that, that's not too much to ask for, but I will be like questioning everything and say, is this really uh, the way you're saying it is because I was under the impression that this, not, this was not the way the world works. Okay, so like no matter if you're trying to convince the other side or this side, I will, I'm going to be very skeptical of every number in this video now but however it is fine to do that because i mean uh, you will not crush my reality unless i watch your video and uh, clickbaiting works up here we have the next mistake it says 93 feet salish eagle what is the salish eagle you need to tell me that before I can make any sort of assumptions. I can't see what it is with my eyes. Maybe I'm getting old. It's just a blur to me. So this, for all I know, could be a boat or a building. Now, a building does not move, which would make this claim here, 20 miles away, much more, you know, sketchy if it's a boat because boats move they can come closer they can go far away so we don't know if it's a boat or a building so we're like like i don't yeah i mean maybe this is a very famous boat among boat people 
but I have no clue. There's many, many boats in the world and I don't care about most of them. Yeah, th this, this claim is like, how did you figure this out? Like, was it measured on a map? If, it, if it's a boat, did you have someone on the boat telling you like, yeah, we're up this co these coordinates on the GPS so you can figure out where it is in relation to you? What, what, what was the method of figuring 20 miles out? We don't know that. Like 93 feet, I can believe that easily because whether or not it's a boat or a building, uh, we know how high those are. We can look that up. But I really need to find out if this Salish Eagle thing is something that is a... Oh, look at that. It was a boat. Okay. So, 70 feet height. That's the next mistake. You are? Okay, so I, I have looked this up here. Um, 75 feet to meters, that is 22.86 meters. All right, how did you figure that out? I mean, that's quite a height. So you can't just like take a tape measurement. So maybe you used laser, maybe, maybe you were at some point where um, someone else has made topographical measurements before and like put a sign down and says yeah, you are now 70 feet above water maybe you were on a mountain peak <laughs> that doesn't make any sense does it maybe you're on a house in a house making this video out of a window we don't know. So how did you come to this conclusion? We can't really rely on that unless we know where that number comes from. What method did you use to measure this? 50 feet, uh, 58 feet hidden. Okay. Um, you know how high the boat is? It's 93 feet. And from this image, you can figure out how much is hidden. Uh, how, how did you do that? I mean, I think the boat starts down here or maybe there's some mirage and it's actually starting here. I can't really tell at this image quality. So you need to tell us how you figured that number out <laughs> as well. Because like, did you put a outline of the boat over your footage and figure out that, yeah, <clears throat> I should be seeing this if I saw the whole boat or what? Yes, it's kind of blurry. Now I paused it, so I won't make any comments on how long you're showing this for. I'm assuming that you want to show as much footage as possible so that we can get convinced. Okay, so is this the same boat? How, how do we know it's the same boat? It says here it's the 93. Salish Eagle and actually how how do we know it was that in the previous footage like uh, this doesn't look anything like it is it the same thing it might be but I don't know still 20 miles away so how long is a mile one mile two meters okay so that's like 1.6 kilometers uh, for each mile. Yeah, okay, so if you went down from the mountain you were on, depending on the slope, you should have moved closer if you're on now only at 10 feet, but I mean, the mountain that is 20 meters high, it isn't that high. Maybe, maybe it's a building and then, um, yeah, the, you, can, you can move up and down without uh, moving without changing this distance and um, yeah so but uh, th this raises the question even further how how was this measured um, so okay so it says you're now at 10 feet height and we go to 10 feet to meters and it says three meters uh, above sea level I, I would assume so three meters isn't that Hi, so we can safely say that that is probably pretty accurate. Who knows? But again, how do you know it's three meters? 
because unless you're right next to water, I mean, I assume you might have used some kind of equipment or something. I don't know. So now you say that we have 173 feet hidden. Well, yeah, surely more is hidden now because uh, this doesn't even look like the same thing. So maybe now we will get some kind of conclusion on the screen telling us so since this, then that. Okay, I'll wait for that. Boom, boom. Yeah, like I would expect blurriness since you're filming the horizon, I would assume. Okay, no explanation. That's another mistake. Because now I'm left confused with, okay, so, um, so you saw a thing and you moved down and you saw less of it. Now that is certain regardless of any number that you presented. But I mean, the, the numbers, um, they do matter. Like if you want to calculate how much curve it is. But okay, so this would not happen on a flat earth unless all this refraction things that they go on and on about actually would make this happen. Let's say that there is no refraction. This would mean that when things move away, no, that when things are far away and you move up, you see more of it. And when you move down, you see less of it. Now, how can we make any conclusions out of that? Well, we can say that if, if it's a round globe, then we expect this to happen because, you know, you can't see the other side of a ball when you're on it. <laughs> so things at some point need to disappear over the horizon on a ball. And uh, if you move up, you see more of a ball's surface or of, of a globe's surface. So you would expect to see things that are further away uh, when you're at higher altitude. Now, what does the flat earth model say about this? Uh, I've heard them say that there's refraction, there's Fata Morgana, which actually, if you look it up, it says that you sh see things that you shouldn't be seeing. If you're trying to convince them, um, well, good luck because they're trolls. <laughs> so. <laughs> because they have decided what reality is and they're not going to change unless you give them something really conclusive and really explain that this experiment was done this and you could not see this on your model therefore it is false and you should see this on this level model therefore this is more probably true but like you need to you need more than one experiment to um, to prove a model but you, you probably only need one experiment to disprove a model so I hope this video helped you um, to make a better video the next time because I expect you can use this same footage and just make it better um, I assume that's why we're asking <laughs> so that, that's the mistakes that I think you made and I'm not an expert in anything but I, I do have an education so this was my perspective and it doesn't mean that it is the truth it can just as easily be yes my opinions but you did ask so I hope it helped okay so see you next time bye